Hello fellow airport CEOs. Today we're looking at our airport as a little tour. We're making a lot of money on this two square airport design. Three if you count this little runway over here that I've added just to give us another takeoff runway. It's not needed though to make the money where we are. Let's take a look at our inbox. Here we made $2 million that day. Today we made 900000 because we were doing a bunch of construction stuff. Here we made a $1 million that day. So we're doing pretty good on finances and give you a quick little tour of how it's all coming together. First off, I have a lot of parking. If you look at your economy here and I look at my income look how much money i'm making for parking do not build a subway station if you build a subway station you lose all this money from income from parking i'm making as much on parking as we are from aircraft and it's just a parking can go underground right so i could actually build more and it would probably even make more but I've built a nice section of squares here. Some of them are designated as employee only here, a couple, but they don't use very much. In fact, they're not using this one at all. Let's change it back to public. Put the short term out and the long term out in different sections. And you know, you go down below and you have more parking. Uh, in fact, there's a spot we could add some additional parking right there. So let's do that while we're talking about it. Public parking lot. And we just go bam, 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 bam. And we'll make a bunch of more money off of those just because, uh, and you know, we could just expand drastically here on parking and it just keeps making you more money. People really use their parking spaces. So that's a big key tip on how to make so much money is build big parking structures. Next, I have a lot of aircraft stands. They all started out as small stands. Um, in fact, this is still a small airport entirely. And they all started out as non-commercial. You know, just as a standard general aviation. And I still have quite a few of those here uh, out on the outskirts. Uh, here, these are all general aviations. They're not easily accessible to uh, our terminals that we have here. It makes us a little bit of money just to have flights come in and out on a consistent basis. Here also, in between the service road and the runway, we've put a whole bunch of general aviation stands. Uh, sometimes these fill up and we make just money coming in, money coming out, you, uh, the fuel cost um, just racks it up. You know, here in the terminal, uh, you know, one of the reasons why we're maybe not making as much right now is we've actually let our contracts lapse. So let's sign some contracts here. Make sure all our shops are going. I wish they would let you know that it they ex expire. Um, I just never notice. I wish there was a way to just set the automatically renew as well. Okay, I think that's the two shops over here. I got one over here. I need to sign. Looks good up in the other terminal. We have quite a few shops and restaurants. I always just go with the highest tier that will sign. I tend to get pretty good results. People will shop more if they like the store. And since you get a cut of how much uh, it brings in, it's to your advantage to make sure that you have nice stores. Oh, there's a five star. Nice. I do have one here set up just as inexpensive. And just because we need some uh, affordable shopping as well. There we 
go. Those are all. This one still needs to be signed. We have. Mix of different stars on purpose. There we go. Make sure your restaurants are always signed they, and your shops are always signed. They do lapse over time. All right, back with the tour. We have here from the beginning, people come in. Uh, they can go to parking here. They go down below to underground parking. Drops down there. Comes up here. Uh, you have our public drop-off spots, our car stops. Loops around, lets them exit without interfering with the taxi and bus traffic. Uh, added this little road here, does never interfere with each other, actually creates really nice flow. Main terminal drop-off point everybody comes in is through this area over here. Um, you have a couple check-in desks right here and uh, there's your security for this terminal. We have a little restaurant up at the top. Mm, our main staff area over here. Uh, a couple of staff bathrooms, right? Staff rooms in general. Uh, and we have access to the terminal connection points here for the staff as well. This is the terminal down and this connects all the way over here <laughs> back up into the other terminal. Um, we have a little staff room over here. Oh, need to build some seating for them probably. Um, one couple checkpoints. Big terminal here. Lots of commercial stands on this side. Just tons. Right. There's our baggage claim, baggage bay. If you have not watched the video on the baggage setup and the optimization of that for level three, make sure you check those out. You see we have pretty much all 90s across the board here, except for baggage reaching passenger. I'm still working on that, on why that is not flowing properly. That one's really hard to get working correctly. Um, many people think there might be a glitch in there. Uh, we're still trying to figure out why it's not where it should be. Overall, everything is green. Everything is great. We're doing really well. Here in this first terminal, we just have a couple of commercial stands. Cut down on staff by putting in automated stands in, starting to do that more, make it a little more efficient. Here's the baggage claim area here everyone comes out through security this way right everything comes out they just exit this way it's the one exit for passengers and then they can go into baggage claim if they want if not restrooms and a shop right there a couple connection points here for all the terminal B we call it. This is little tiny terminal over here. They come in, got their own checkpoints. Something's going on with our bag. Oh, because they don't have a baggage set up over here yet. There's their security though. They have their own got a shop. And then over here, just got a couple way out here. I was able to build a couple more commercial spots. Thinking about moving this police station over here. And then I could expand over and uh, add a few more. Just add these on to it. That might make it worth it to add the luggage out this far. It's pretty far for a couple bays. Right now, there's just a couple of small commercial stands. You know, you got the important stuff in towers in the middle. Uh, built a large tower out this way. For our future expansion into medium size. 
What you're getting ready to do, we've been saving up money, we have $10 million. Should take somewhere between four and five million, probably for the expansion into medium aircraft, uh, with the additional runways and terminals and everything else you're gonna need. So you gotta make sure you have a lot of money saved up for that. So this two square airport design does pretty well on its financing. Another good tip to make sure your economy is running well is always ensure that you're renegotiating your contracts. You'll get email that alerts you, you can do this, it's easy to ignore. I do it all the time. But you come in here to your economy and go to your current accepted contracts and if they're yellow, you have negotiation power. So let's go into here, you can negotiate right now, this is what we're going for oh we got 20 points wow so let's up our costs boom boom risky let's see if we can get it back see it's been so long I've accumulated 20 points over time you accumulate points uh, for negotiation right so it's been a long time since I've negotiated with this particular supplier and I've accumulated 20 points. So look, I raised my price basically 20%. Boom, let's see how much more we can get out. We got 11 points here. Let's use them all. Oh, hey, generous, it's still a good deal for him. He thinks this is great. We're gonna make a lot more money. Bam. This is being a good CEO is making sure your contracts are This one you can see I've negotiated more recently. I only have five points, so I'm probably not going to uh, be able to negotiate much here. Let's try this. Oh, good there. Just a little bit. I'm not using medium flights right now, so I might even be able to drop that down, but I've already negotiated that for future contracts. Let's keep it. Of course it's accepted. It's a generous offer. Keep your suppliers happy. Keep their generous offers. You can push it. Hmm, let's see, let's try this one, little one. See, we got five points as well. Spend four of them. There we go, there we go. Nice generous offer for you, and it's accepted. Now we're saving money, and we're making more money with our suppliers. Wonderful, wonderful. Overall, we're doing pretty good on our operations in the 90s, right? So this airport operates pretty efficiently. Um, I'm still, you know, there's lots of tweaking to do to get it a little bit high 90s on a few things, but we're getting there. We're getting there. Uh, what else can I show you? Let's see, a few hangars here. Uh, let's just look at the general airport layout real quick. We have two runways using the two square design, a third on the side, but we'll just concentrate on the two right now. So you have one for incoming and one for outgoing. I do get a bottleneck right here sometimes when you get a little tiny slow plane that probably came from way over here and they just were waiting for them, right? But these route, you know, cause if he's going over there, they don't interfere with this section. So most of the time, because it's just general aviation, there's no commercial flights, you don't get too much of a backlog and you see it cleared out very quickly. So once they come in, they land for general aviation, they can come down into here or they'll come over here into this side. This is the old first part of the airport. I kept it asphalt just to keep the old aesthetic. All the commercial flights here have been upgraded on the right side to concrete. Uh, they come in here when they land, they come over here, get refueled up. Fuel trucks have their underground roads to get here quickly. When they land, they can also come up here to this section, which is half general aviation, half commercial. Nice big terminal up there at the top. 
lots of space, lots of planes with the baggage claim. When they're leaving, they just come over here and they take off. We have added the second runway to help out with the uh, the flow so we don't get much of a backlog because sometimes we will get a backlog here without this runway. All right? This guy is waiting because here's a slow plane, just happens to be his turn. Why it routes that makes this guy wait, I don't know. Um, he has the ability to make it there in time. I don't know why they do that, but it's just the way it gets queued. And it's probably something the way airplanes get queued. Right, these little tiny guy just taking a sweet time. And see, we could route them over here, but they don't. He's already been routed to this runway. Creates a bit of a backlog, but it does get cleared out pretty quickly. And see, there they go. They go over there. because the other one's backed up, right? Clears up pretty quickly. We don't tend to get too many delayed flights. So that's a pretty good tour there, I think, of everything on the airport, on the general flow. And you can see there's a service road on the outside here that comes all the way around. We have our underground system that pops out over here for the surface side of this commercial side and for the non-commercial general aviation side. Fuel truck pops out. We have our baggage claim and our vehicle depot nice and close to each other so they don't waste time. And we've used the underground passages for transport of our passengers and our surface roads to get quickly around our airport and around our buildings. Luggage I build up on a floor. Here's our luggage transport on the top floor. Don't need a second floor yet because this is a small airport. The new terminal will have to be two floors. Another reason why it's so expensive is you're gonna have a lot more terminal space and a lot more upkeep. So it's good to make sure that you have a nice successful small airport first before you go expanding into larger things like catering departments, cleaning services, waste department, uh, these are cool things to add on when you have medium sized aircraft. We'll be doing that video next. We'll be recording our expansion. Uh, right now we're just trying to see if we get uh, another economic report and see uh, how the budget's doing since we weren't building anything that day. Uh, we were just letting it run and we made a few more efficiencies. And also, my last tip here for your economy is to make sure um, when you're not building, go into operations, go into your construction crew, and make sure you've dismissed everybody. You can add guy, make sure you dismiss them all. Because otherwise, man, you will be spending too much money. Let's review that contract. Can we negotiate it? Mm-hmm. We can negotiate our staff cost too. Look at that. Haven't even used points. Oh, because I'm going this way. Hey, you know what? They don't affect me much. Let's keep the contractors paid well. They're, I don't need to lower their fees. They do good work. I don't want them to slow down. Here, you know what? Contractors. 
we'll give you guys a pay raise. How's that, huh? Of course you do. They will move faster now. Okay, we're just waiting for that morning budget report. See some airplanes move. morning here comes the people yeah, a lot of people that come in and go down and I just realized they're not using those walkways weird that's weird figure that out later. Not for this video. <laughs> okay, there's our new email. Take a look at our economic report. And 9.25 million. Pretty good, pretty good. Slower day. Uh, overall. But it was a Thursday in the game, so Fridays will be busier. And as I showed from the early reports, sometimes we're making a million dollars, upwards of two million dollars a day on the busy days. And this airport is running smooth and making money. So I hope you found some good tips here for your own airport. If you liked this video, you know what to do. Push the buttons. Have yourself a great day, y'all. We'll see you next time.